All right, so here we are back in the studio. Let's take a look at a few of the tools and methods available to savvy business owners and managers to discover their untapped virtual properties. Uh, there are many tools that can help you uh, get a lay of the land, so to speak, in regarding um, your claimed and unclaimed virtual real estate online. Uh, the two we're going to highlight right today is uh, Yext and Moz Local. And without further ado, let's just jump right into it and see how these tools work. Yext is uh, many things, um, but one of their free tools that uh, we're advising everyone to take a look at and uh, see where you stand is their you know, business scanning tool. We're going to use Regina Pizzeria uh, as an example, just a typical pizzeria that would uh, benefit from having a great local presence. You just enter the name and uh, the phone number and we'll click scan now. There we go. So they're doing a pretty darn good job. We have uh, Yahoo listings, uh, Facebook's matched up, Bing, Yelp, White Pages, MapQuest, lots and lots of these virtual properties all have them listed. Um, their phone number is consistent here. Uh, we have address. Uh, business name is pretty consistent across. Um, they advertise this outstanding, you know, not standing out because of a special offer. Not the biggest deal, but uh, actually that's one thing. So they are, now we can really start to see, you know, from a high level, they're missing, or actually business name looks like it might be spelled wrong on Yahoo. I definitely you know, view listing, go into that, take a look if that's true. If it is, you know, get in the back end and make sure we update and change that. So we're uh, consistent and we're not spelling a business name wrong on a major search engine or a major site. Um, there's lots and lots and lots of different properties here. The ones farther down kind of get a little less uh, important as you go, but definitely these top ones most people are familiar with and that you definitely want to take a look at and see if your business is at least on here. And if so, is the information accurate and correct? Uh, so we'll jump right out of there into Moz Local, similar tool. Can your customers find you online? Well, we sure want you to. So. Same thing, business name here and zip code. Let's check, check the listing. And we're going to use the original Thatcher Street location, even though they have a number of different locations. And for those who don't know, uh, Moz is a kind of highly trusted digital marketing tool. They've got a suite of different um, applications and utilities that help um, you take a look at your SEO rankings. Um, there are mo there are a few free. There are some paid. Uh, this is one that's free, free to use, as you can see. So it can be really helpful in getting that lay of the land. So let's take a look. You've got Google Plus, ninety five percent. That's very good. Obviously, Google Plus, the social network of Google. You want to be as up as you can on that. Make sure it's one hundred percent complete, consistent. We have Foursquare, Facebook, Yelp. They're getting a pretty good score here. Let's take a look at what might be incomplete. Um, it's advising to maybe add a photo or two. Um, additionally, to Google+, three more categories to make sure that you're matching up with as many queries as possible. You can add some more photos to super pages, yellow pages. So they're on here. They're, they have backlinks from Google+, super pages, Bing, Axiom. These are all important backlinks as well, just for the sake of getting um, some juice from these major properties back uh, to your website. So it's another benefit of taking a look at this is you can really see uh, how you're doing, but also if you've you know, been doing well and claiming these properties and updating the information, you can see that you're actually getting these backlinks back to your website and raising you in search results and just kind of giving additional trust and authority uh, to your site. So. You can uh, update listing through the tool, but um, for our purposes, I'm just trying to get a lay of the land, take a look at how uh, you know we're did this business, how you know your business is doing when you search it, and also see um, here we take a look at Foursquare, Facebook. There's some inconsistencies across the name. Um, looks like there should be a space there. Um, maybe the website is backwards from what uh, you know. Moz found originally the phone number could be incorrect. So this has a different phone number for some reason. All things that, if corrected, can really boost the search rankings, the authority um, that Google can see. So, and when when you're asking what 
data point, what section that you should kind of compare to. The Google Plus Places um, for Business page is pretty much uh, the source. So if your information on here differs from the listings here, you should try to make all these listings match up to the Google Places for Business, Plus for Business um, listing page. That way, Google can see they have this information. It's on. It's in, inside their company. And then when they spiders go out, they're going to crawl those different properties. They're going to see that the name's correct, the address is correct, it's consistent, phone number's there. You got a backlink uh, in the URL to your website. All that matters. All making sure all this is lined up matters for your local search rankings, your overall search rankings, and just your visibility, your availability on the web. So. These are two tools uh, that you can take a look at, use, they're free, as you can see, pretty easy, just type in the business name and phone number for Yext, business name and zip code for Moz Local. There are other tools, um, you can search on Google Forum, but these are two that we recommend. You can go on, just take a look at that high level um, view on how the business is doing in these uh, virtual properties and hopefully we can start taking steps towards getting that prime real estate, uh, as you saw in the middle of uh, Faneuil Hall and Quincy Market. We want to make sure that businesses that are savvy are doing this and making sure they're showing up. Thank you.